When we think about passive investing, I think probably the best place is to unbundle what it actually means. And there are two things. Firstly, is passive is cheap. And that's an issue of price. So what's the best way for investors to invest sensibly at a sensible price? The second is index investing or the way that they construct a portfolio, the best way to invest. Getting a cheap price is an admirable objective. Building a portfolio purely based on how big a company is in an arbitrary index, we think is a different issue altogether. So what do I mean by that? In unbundling it, in simple terms, we buy profit streams from companies and there's a multiple in the market which reflects people's view on are those profit streams going to grow, shrink, and a lot of that is about the optimism or pessimism or otherwise that investors have on those profit streams. As active investors, obviously what we're seeking to do is to try and look forward and saying, this is the here and now today, these are the profit streams you invest, this is how much we're paying for them, what do we think that exercise is going, to, is going to look like in five years' time? And can we build a portfolio better than the current weights of those profits, if you like, with a more look forward-looking or through the windscreen approach to investing rather than just a static basis? The situation in Australia probably over the long run is that active investors generally have done reasonably well. That's not the case in every market in the world, but in Australia probably the the experience has been reasonably good. Obviously in beating passive we need to be better at that forecasting of profits or where the index might not be truly reflecting the value of a business. And when it comes down to its simple level, we, when we look at it, that's what we do. Our job is to value businesses and to allocate capital based on our view of who are the best users of that capital. And that's the other axis that I think is important for passive because the function of stock markets at a 101 level is to give companies money that can use it sensibly. When you start to move towards passive, that function of beating the index, you've also got to think about the axis of will the index potentially not deliver as good a returns as a whole as, it done, as it's done in the past because no one's holding companies accountable for how well they use that capital.